What up, my nerds? It's Tosla Lovebax back with a new series, and as I mentioned in the prologue, this is a PSP port of Valkyrie Profile Lenneth, uh, which I am very excited to jump into, so without further ado, let's start a new game. Oh, hello. What's going on here, then? Seems like we're in some kind of citadel place. Oh, they're really building up the suspense with this. Now, is this just like a regular church cathedral type building or is this the um odin's hall oh someone's getting married oh what's going on oh hello Is that platina all growed up? I'm just strolling on out of there. How nostalgic. Oh really? Nostalgic indeed. Oh. Here we are on the bridge. Oh, and we're in control now. Awesome. Welcome to Valhalla. Hi, Frey. How you doing? You seem as if you're waiting for someone. She might be. Might be waiting for us. Of course. I've been waiting for you, Lennon. Oh. I've been waiting since my sister Freya told me you were coming back. Oh. Has it been that long? Are you well? Yes! Well, that's nice. Oh, Lord Odin is waiting for you within. Oh, okay. Well, best go check on Odin then, eh? Of course. We will speak later, Frey. Now, knowing that the boy in the prologue sounded a lot like Seto Kaiba. Ooh. This is nice. Bum bum bum. But this could just be my brain putting together pieces that might not even be there. But it's the voice of Lenneth? The same person who did the first voice of my Valentine? From Yu-Gi-Oh! This is certainly a deep... Ah, uh, thing. See, yeah, that's exactly how Odin sits in the uh, the Elysium. It did well to copy that over. I am here, Lord Odin, at your service. I summon Harpy Lady. Stand, Lenneth. Okay, I will do said thing. Kneel before us like a dweller in Midgard. I understand. Oh, I'm just teleporting for the sake of teleporting, are you? Oh, we're just getting all the hugs today. I rejoice to see you again. You have been missed. Hang on, does Freya have a grey eye and a blue eye? Lenneth Valkyrie. I would not summon you, the greatest of the three goddesses who govern destiny, without good cause. Okay. Yes, my lord. The head of Mimir has told me that Ragnarok, the end of the world, draws near. You know, I was playing Ragnarok. God of War Ragnarok recently. When he says the head of Mimir, has that been sliced off of the body already? <laughs> it seems that we, the Aesir, will not be able to avoid war with them. 
Oh, okay, okay. We require warriors. Okay. You shall journey to Midgard, the world below, and search for suitable human souls. I will most certainly do that. It is my honor, Lord, to serve you. I expect great things from you. I mean, I'll do what I can. Yes, my lord. Oh, a proper FMV. Dun dun dun. I wish I could get changed like that in the morning. It would just save so much time. We are ready to serve. I will join you on your journey down, but I must return before long. Okay. Are you going to be giving us the basics of what we need to do? I'm sure I'll figure it out. Now, in Elysium, the the this room doesn't seem that big, but they nailed Odin's uh, position. Like throughout most of the game, he sits like he just did in that cutscene. This is the human world. Yes, the lower world of Midgard. Where the souls wander about, locked in cages of flesh. Does it remind you of anything? Not particularly. I have never seen this world before. I see. Then let us go. Go where? It is time for me to teach you about who you are and what your role is. Oh, more teleportations. Oh, we're just floating around, are we? Do you hear something? What do you mean? You have a power that is yours alone. Close your eyes and open your heart. Concentrate and listen. You will understand. Press the start button to begin spiritual concentration. Okay, I will do that. Certainly sounds like she's opened herself to a lot of pain here. Seems we found somewhere. Ah, totally, uh. Yes. Do you hear it? What is this? That is your power. The power to hear the sorrow, anger, and hopes of humans near death. The power to hear their souls cry out. It is your task to take the souls of those chosen departed within yourself. I am to search amongst the souls that are departed for those worthy to become heroes? Yes, that is why. That is why what? Let us go. If we go even closer, you will be able to synchronize your soul with theirs. Then you will understand more. Okay. Human souls? Take them into myself? Oh, yeah, slice that monkey in half. 
That's the guy with the big sword. And Grim, help them out, won't you? Wow, that is a lot of duties there. And is that a harpy? This beast is tough. Ah. Nuisance, out of my way. Um, oh, oh, just controlling it. Okay, there we go. It would have been nice if they'd let me know. Let me assist you. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, we got zapped it. Okay, uh, so do this and then do this. Blah. Yeah, I remember that part of the combat. So each character on the screen represents a position of the keypad, so triangle, square, X, circle, and you press the buttons in the order that you want them to attack. And if you attack, like... In certain ways, you can get uh, chains and etc. off, but I'm sure the game is going to go through those with me. Yeah, we did it! Oh, we have a painter. Welcome home, brother. Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah, just sit down. You're still drawing that stuff? Art is more than just art, that stuff. If you can't sell it, what's the point? I don't do it for money. Hmm. Whatever. Brother, it's different. Different than war where you just kill people. What? I don't fight for money. I'm a mercenary because I enjoy it. Same as you, right? I don't give a damn about expressing myself or whatever. Say, Roland, what's fun about making art anyway? You think it's foolish, brother, because you're content with what you have. What? For me, drawing pictures has always been a way for me to escape the confines of this frail body of mine. I'm sorry, brother. I know that part of the reason you fight is to support me. I'll leave the money here. That statue? It's a present from His Highness. They give it to the guy who kills the most people in battle. <gasps> the princess! I remember you! Princess! It is unseemly for such a lovely young princess who will one day rule the country to lose her temper in such a disgraceful manner. Silence, Lambert! I will not stand here silently accepting abuse from the likes of you! We cannot allow such behavior from a boorish mercenary! Princess Yolanda! You need not concern yourself with regards to this matter, Princess. I will take care of everything! Well... No need to snatch. Gore, damn. You're such a spoiled little bitch, don't you know? Thanks to your meritorious efforts, the barbarians have been driven back. I salute you all. And among you, I believe, is the greatest warrior of all, Sir Angrim. Hmm. To you, I present a cash bonus and this statue. Although I am sure mercenary taste 
is no different than that of a barbarian. Oh, delightful. I thank you from the bottom of my gaping void and my soul. You think this makes everything all right? This cheap, <clears throat> this cheap little statue is nothing but a lie. Ha <laughs> You're such a feeble little king. What? What are you? I don't have time for this farce. This statue looks a lot like you, don't you think? Ooh. Father. Wow. Don't waste my time with this crap. You're a grateful brute. To subject my father to such barbarism. Ten thousand deaths are not enough for you. God, stick him! What are you doing? That arrogant lout, there must be some way I can get to him. Let me think. I've got it. Oh, are we in control? We are in control. Cool. There we go. Are we having a word with you? Can I speak to you? There we go. It's been a long time since you hung around the house all day, huh? Uh, I guess it is. <gasps> oh. Just sit down and relax. Oh. Do you want something? Aren't you? I mean, might you be Sir Angrim? Yeah. That's right. I am, I mean, my name is, um, Yella. Yella? Yeah, I mean, no, Yella. Um, my name is Angela. What? And, uh, what do you want from me, Lady Angela? I came to offer you a job. Are you serious? You've got time, why not talk to her? God damn. So, uh, where are we going? Let's go to uh, one of those restaurants. Do you know of any fine establishments? Well, this place over here is about as far as it gets in Artolia. It seems nice enough. Nanlao Garden. The only gourmet Yamato-style restaurant in Artolia. Its promise to the citizens of the continent is a taste experience many Westerners find rather bizarre. May I take your order? I have no idea. Let's see, I'll take this and this and this. And what would you like to drink? Um, this and this and one of these. Hey, are you really going to eat all that? Why would I? I'll just have what I want and leave the rest. It's kind of wasteful. So, uh, what was it you wanted to hire me for? Why don't we talk while we eat? 30 minutes later. Call your manager. Huh? I say call your manager. Oh, this isn't good. Don't act like such a spoiled little princess. Oh, if only you knew, Angrin, if only you knew. 
Is something not to your liking? Not to my liking, you say? What is this meat? It's raw! But miss, that is called sashimi. It's a classic Yamato cuisine. And what's this cloudy soup? It smells awful. It must be rotten. Miss, that's an absolute staple of Yamato cuisine. Miso soup. And what about this? It's a monster. You're trying to make me eat baby krakens. But miss, it's just plain octopus. You serve monsters here? I assure you, miss. I've never been so insulted in my entire life. Ah, now my throat is parched. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> what kind of water is this? Are you trying to poison me? How dare you? 10,000 deaths and not enough for you! Oh. Oh. Bloody hell. She went down like a sack of spuds there. Ooh. Your bill, sir. So this happened before you could hear what she wanted? Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Princess? Y Yolanda? What's going on? Well, um, I know she came here in disguise to hire me for a job. She is very proud. Da. Huh? Talking in her sleep, eh? Da. Hmm. Foul oathbreaker! Ten thousand deaths are not enough for you! So that's it. I understand now. I insulted that girl's father right in front of her. Of course, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to show what a gutless coward the king is. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I get that. What I did wasn't wrong. But, but a daughter can't help but love and honor her own father. Is there any child that would not feel anger at seeing their sire made a fool of? I mean, I'm sure there's a few out there. Where are they? It's already evening. Yeah, it is. I have to go. Oh, is it okay if I come back tomorrow to make my offer? Yeah, sure. A job offer? Huh. Probably some sort of revenge for what I did to her father. When she comes tomorrow, I'll apologize to her. You're late. So, what's your offer this time? It's short notice, but I need you to help another man deliver. What? Give me a break. You're wasting my time for that. Come on, the pay is top price, so you will take it. Dangerous cargo, eh? 
Well, I'll take it. But I want 5,000. My price is doubled. Fine. It's a deal. You serious? Well, if you say so. By the way, who's the other guy you got me teamed up with? You'll meet soon enough. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. The next day. Okay, well, because this has gone on a bit longer than I expected with all these cutscenes, I actually don't remember having this many cutscenes or at least cutscenes going in this long, although all the dialogue options and stuff. So I'm gonna call it there for now. So thank you very much for watching this one. I really appreciate it. Whatever it is that you're doing and wherever it is that you are, I hope that you have a great time and I shall see you in the next one.